What's going on guys and welcome back to another Waterfowl Wednesday. Tonight, thanks to Peter, we are talking about the SX full body snow goose decoys and my thoughts and feelings on them. But before we get started on that, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about snow goose hunting as a whole and my thoughts and feelings of it over the years. Um, so a few years back, I was asked the question, you know, are you a duck hunter or are you a goose hunter? And my first initial reaction was, well, I, I hunt both of them. I mean, come on. And it's like, no, no, no. What are you at heart? Are you a duck hunter at heart or are you a goose hunter at heart? And it kind of made me stop and think about it a little bit and think about the challenges on what it takes to be successful and kill ducks on a regular basis and what it takes to be successful and kill geese on a regular basis. And what I enjoy doing more. Um, don't get me wrong, I love running the boat, I love hunting the delta, I love hunting the rivers, I love hunting California public land, private land, everything under the sun. Um, but if I had to answer that question at heart, and if I was being honest, um, I'm a goose hunter at heart. There is something about chasing geese, and snows just do it for me for whatever reason. Um, I think when it comes to snow goose hunting, they are so smart and they travel such a distance to where they've seen it all. Um, you know, I mean, they're hunted from Canada all the way down. And by the time they get here to California, I mean, they've seen decoy spreads, they've heard calling, they've been shot at, they've been chased by predators, you know, eagles, coyotes, whatever. And so over the years, they've learned to adapt to, hey, we're safer if, we come in big numbers. More eyeballs on the ground is, um, you know, just easier for them to pick out threats. And if you guys hunt snows long enough, it doesn't take but just one bird to pull an entire flock of snows out of the area. Um, so I think the overall challenge of hunting snows, you know, I mean, they get over the top sometimes and it's just, they'll start to spin and spin and spin and it's like, Jesus, will you guys just come down already? Um, but that's what makes them fun. That's what makes them challenging. Um, even after all these years, I, I, I still don't consider myself a successful snow goose hunter because every year they kick my butt. Um, you know, I mean, this past season, prime example, I hunted all five days of California's late season goose hunt and I mean, they stuck it to me. It was tough. Not one day was the same. And I think that overall challenge of hunting snows is what keeps me coming back and keeps my drive coming back um, each and every year. So when it comes to hunting snows and what my personal opinions are, I know everybody's got different opinions on, uh, or I should say different opinions when it comes to hunting these birds. Um, but over the years, I have found that I've had more success running fewer, higher quality decoys than I do just running big numbers. And big numbers, I mean socks and silos and all that kind of stuff. Just, you know, I mean, obviously socks and silos are a lot cheaper than buying full bodies. But to me, I've had better success running a smaller number of high quality decoys versus having these big giant spreads. And I mean, granted, each situation is a little different. It, the birds want to see something different every day. Um, that's just my personal preference. I, like I said, I'd rather run full bodies over silos and socks. Um, now I will run some silos in with my full bodies if I just kind of want to bump up the numbers a little bit, but for the most part, I've kind of phased socks out. Um, so um, if you guys have any questions about snow goose hunting, or if you guys want me to go in depth on um, how I set up for snows and kind of what my spreads look like. Just drop me down a comment below and I can cover that in a, another video. But um, let's get to the overall review tonight. So the SX full body snow goose decoys. Uh, brand new, you can usually find these things for about 210 bucks. Uh, they come in a 10 pack and there are three different head positions. So this is just your classic looker. And then we've got 
Let's see, you get um, three lookers in the pack. You get six feeders that look like this. All of them come with a motion cone and tail loops and everything like that. And then your 10th one is this active talker. You can see on the carving there, they've got their, uh, they have it set to where the snow goose is sitting there calling and everything. Um, so that's what you get in the 10 pack. Like I said, one of these, um, three uprights and six lookers for 210 bucks. Now, some of you guys might be thinking 210 bucks for a 10 pack, I can buy, you know, five dozen dive bombs for what, 375 bucks? I get it, <clears throat> you know, and that's the whole thing on full bodies is that it's gonna cost some money. Um, what I've done is, you know, I've saved $10 here, $20 there, and um, just kind of put my money together um, over the month and I've got like a full body snow goose budget to where it's like, okay, I can afford to go out and buy a couple more packs of snow goose decoys. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Um, so I'm trying to do what I can to increase my numbers. Ideally, I'd like to be around seven to 800 full bodies. I think that's also going to require me to get a decoy trailer, but we'll deal with that later when the time comes. Um, but yes, I try to just set aside some money away each month to go towards, um, buying some full bodies. And in all honesty, at 210 bucks for a full body that looks like this, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's a hard, durable plastic. Scott over there at SX, phenomenal job, buddy. I mean, you knocked it out of the park with this one. Um, great feather detail on the back. Like I said, a durable decoy. I've packed these into the public land refuge before. I just throw them in a, like a Higdon 12 slot bag and just take off with them. Um, the paint has held up extremely well, even if they're banging around. Um, the fact that they all come with tail loops, if you guys don't have tail loops on your full bodies, you guys are missing out. Um, these things are amazing. It makes pickup and deployment super easy. Um, the motion cone, let's see here, let me grab a steak. The motion cone works extremely well. Um, before we get into that though, just a quick little rundown on the steak. It does have a pointed in on it. Uh, we don't have to worry about really uh, frozen ground or anything out here in California, but I am curious to run these out in Nebraska to see how they hold up. Um, but it's a sturdy steak. I doubt these things are gonna break and I'm sure it's gonna have no problem going into frozen ground. Um, I like the yellow, greenish type, high vis, whatever, um, topper on there. And I like the fact that they put this little reflective tape um, just below that. That way if you're picking up or um, setting up in the dark or anything like that, you can find all of your stakes. Um, I haven't had an issue losing any stakes. Um, the motion cone, I believe, and don't quote me on this, I believe they call it like a fast cone. Um, the weatherman's always wrong, like you guys know. Um, and so most of the time, it feels like whenever duck season rolls around, we lose all of our wind. These decoys over the past year, even with a very slight breath of wind, have just been rocking and moving around with very little minimal effort. Um, I like the fact that unlike other decoys that I own, if you were to spin them like this, they just keep going around like a top. I don't like that. Because the last thing I want is my decoy just spinning in high winds. So, SX full body snow goose decoys. Are they worth the $210 investment? Personally, I would say absolutely go for it. Um, like I said, they're durable. They look good. The feather detail on them. I don't know if you guys can really see that. The paint scheme, the bills match, the feet are on some bungees here. I haven't had an issue losing any of the feet. Solid tail loops. At the end of the day, it's a snow goose. So there's not much of a paint scheme going on here. 
but um, these things are durable. They're lightweight, they're not super heavy. Like I said, I've packed them in, you know, a mile and a quarter, a mile and a half on my back, walking on California public land, and it's a breeze. Um, no issues whatsoever. So um, I'll keep this video kind of short and sweet. If you guys have any more suggestions, Peter, that was a good one. I appreciate it. Thank you again. Um, if you guys have any more suggestions on what you guys want me to review, if you guys want me to go over what decoys, what duck decoys I run, um, I can do that. I can go over what de duck decoys I like versus some other ones that I have that I don't use anymore. They just sit in the garage and collect dust. Um, I can go over a variety of topics. Um, also, I don't know if you guys are going to be interested in it. Um, I'm going to post the videos up anyways. Um, here in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, duck club management or uh, waterfowl management at a piece of property that we own down south in the grasslands. I figured I'm going to bring a GoPro around. It'll get me out of the shop for once as far as the videos go. And uh, I'm just going to kind of show you guys what I do to get the property ready for duck season. Um, so kind of stay tuned for that. That's going to be probably around mid to August. Hopefully I can get it cranked out. Um, we do have deer season kicking up, archery deer season. Um, so I am going to be busy with that as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.